In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit videos inside of YouTube using the latest YouTube video editor. Now, it is a pretty basic editor. I'd say it's probably the worst video editor ever, but it can save your bacon because it can cut the beginning and ends off of videos or live streams that you want to then save as a video, cut sections from the middle of a video, so mistakes that you've made that got left in you can cut out after upload, add music to your clips as backing tracks that won't give you any copyright issues, and you can blur objects within your videos that could be causing copyright issues after upload. If you really want to edit videos for free with a great editor, check out this video up here. To find the YouTube video editor, you need to first upload your video and let it process. When that's done, go to your YouTube studio and select the video, then click on the editor on the side. Let's look at trimming the intro and outros of clips first. So this is the first video I ever made for a client when I went pro. I say pro loosely <laughs> when I decided I was a pro and started making videos. I'm going to remove the client's logo from the beginning and end of this video now. Unfortunately, because I was such a new editor, editor back then, I used the fade transition. Ugh. So it's not ideal for cutting as the logo fades onto this lady's face. But by pushing trim, you'll then see these blue bars appear. You can then pull the bar on the left to trim the video to where you want it to start and the bar on the right to trim the end of the video. So in this case, I'm going to try and cut off the logo. Then by taking the playhead, which is this grey line you can see, and putting it at the start of the trim and then hitting the space bar on the keyboard, I can preview the work, what's going to happen. Otherwise, you can preview it by selecting the preview button here, which I find takes a lot longer to do than the good old spacebar. And there we have it. The beginning and end of the video have been clipped off. You can save that if you like. Now this part will allow you to cut parts from the middle of a video. So when you see these blue bars, it means you can cut. If you can't see the blue bars, press the trim button and it will open this up. Then take the grey playhead to where in the video you want to cut out and press split. You can now drag this new blue line that appears to the left and the right. And this makes a grey box. Everything in the grey box will be removed. Not yet, of course, when you hit save later. So use this to line up in your video the part you want to cut out. Then you can preview it by bringing the playhead before the section and hitting the spacebar again or use the preview button. You can do this multiple times. Now, you might find that this isn't very accurate, so if you want to get really tight on your cuts, use this bar here, which will zoom in on the editing timeline and enable you to get really close and more accurate. If you make a mistake at any time, you can press undo or redo here to go backwards or forwards. And as editors, that's a really handy thing to have. Then when you're happy, you need to hit preview first, this will enable you to hit save and your changes to the video will be made. However, once you have saved the video, the changes won't appear straight away. You might need to wait 24 hours. The good news is you can either save this as a new video or just save over the old video so it won't delete any of your stats. Please note, if you are editing a live stream, you'll need to wait for it to fully process as a video before you do this. Otherwise, this button here will just say save as new and it will turn your live into a brand new video and you'll lose all that watch time. So come back later and wait until this option only says save, not save new. If you want to save this as a new video, however, just click on the three dots next to save and press save as new. So what if you want to add music or blur faces? Well, annoyingly, you can't do this at the same time as you trim and split your video, which is, I don't, why, why can't they do that? And you can't then trim or split a video if you've added a song. So you need to do the steps one by one. Save, wait for it to process, then go back and add the music on another day. So to add music, you can add tracks from the YouTube library, which I think has gotten a lot better recently. So to add a music track, just go down to the little music icon and click the plus sign. And then have a look through the tracks and pick the one you like the sound of. You can preview them by pressing the little play button on the left. So the audio track has two parts to it. The first is this blue box. That is where you want the music to start. Once you move it, you can see a grey waveform under it. You can then move this to help line up the music to where it starts in the actual song. So you might only want the part of the song where the music drops and for it to start from there. This is where you can select that. You can then also select the sound level of the song under the mix. Drag the bar down to make the new track quieter. And what it will do, it will make the new track a bit quieter so you can hear the track under it. Things like talking won't get drowned out. It's mixing, not volume, by the way. So when it's up, it means no other sound comes through. And when it's down, it means letting other sound in too. Then check out the license info by clicking the three dots and you can see this clip is free to use with no attribution. So once that's done, you can add a blur to the video if you like. So you may need to blur an object or a face if someone's unhappy about appearing in a video you've made or you used a clip or an item that you shouldn't have and there's a copyright issue now. 
So click on the plus sign and you can select the option to select faces. YouTube will go through your videos now and find everything it thinks is a face. Then it will display the faces in a list and you can select which ones you want to blur. It's not very accurate at this, it tends to blur all sorts of things, but you can tweak it if needs be. The other option is a custom blur. You can select the person or item to motion track, which means it will basically stick to them no matter where they move or just remain static on screen. You can then just position it and trim how long it appears for using the blue box like you would the music and you are good to go. There is one more thing. You can add elements or end screens to your videos, much like you would on upload. So click on this box down here, go to apply template, and you can choose from some of your old templates. You can add a video, a playlist, a channel, a link. It's basically just adding end screens. And when you've done that, hit save and you've completed your training on the YouTube editor. The best worst video editor in the world. Really, this isn't the place to edit your videos, but to address mistakes that you've left in. The music is great for adding to any clips where you might have had a copyright issue, blur for legal issues, trim to edit the intros and outros from live streams as they usually contain some faff at the start, and then split to cut out mistakes or old information that is no longer relevant to the topic. If you'd like some more tips and tricks for YouTube, check out this playlist here, or hit subscribe to learn how to grow a channel from search to shorts, to video editing, production, and more, because we release three videos a week, you'll teach just how to do that.